Oh yeah, I'm a true to green. All right, I'm in the kitchen. Let's do some fucking cooking, all right? We got corn, we got canned beans, we got uh, tomatoes and stuff, uh, all sorts of stuff. We got peppers here, we got uh, spices and everything. Got plenty of fucking, uh, you know, beef right there. It's going to be real good. Now, as I was saying, uh, when you make a chili, you can real fuck around with it. And you don't have to have, like, the same ingredients every time. But one thing I always want when I start making chili is a lot of meat. I mean, you can make a vegan chili, too. I'm making meat chili tonight because I like that stuff. Um, so you got to have your meat and a lot of onions. I mean, a lot of onions. You got to chop them up with the knife. Got a knife here. It's going to be real good. Um, you, I, I probably put in just as many onions as I do uh, meat or whatever. Now once you got all your onions in there, you want to start putting in the beef, all right? And now make sure you get some oil in there as well. Oh my God, my eyes are on fire from these onions. They're going to be delicious though. Anyway, uh, once you get that, uh, the beef and the onions and some oil in there, you can start cooking it. You want to make sure to mash up the meat real good. You know, you don't want like big chunks of it in there. You want small chunks, right? Because it's chili. It's supposed to be kind of like a stew. And you, you know, people when they make chili, they want it to be all sorts of different uh, consistencies and stuff. I like it nice and thick. Not like soupy chili. That shit sucks. Well, 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 what do we got here? It's a green and red pepper. Maybe vice versa. Hey, <laughs> it's like me and green. Me and red actually <laughs> um yeah sometimes i like to take the red pepper and roast it but uh you know it's like we don't got that kind of stove right now so like we'll just chop it up and throw it in there same with the green one Oh man, you better believe my eyes are still on fire from all those onions. What kind of idiot buys those tiny little onions you gotta chop them all up just to make one meal? It's fucked up. It takes too goddamn long. I realize they probably taste better, but it's like, it's still not worth it. I'm, I'm, I mean, you're putting them in a stew. They're gonna be like liquefied and shit. Anyway, uh, this is still gotta get going here. I don't even need this knife anymore. I just like it. Uh, but... Yeah, we're waiting for that to go, get going, and then we got that all chopped up, we got all our beans and stuff right here, and then we got our spices, we'll go through that as we add them, but the best part is all the hard work's over now, we pretty much just let this stuff stew, and then start adding ingredients, and I'll talk about that when we get to it, meantime, I think I need a beer or something, alright. Alright, I'm getting antsy for this fucking shit to be done, let's check it. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. All right, I'm gonna take that and put that down so we can start adding some stuff here. And you know, like, uh, we need a lot of spices and stuff. That's like the main thing about chili, right? You want it to be spicy. Um, and you know, like a lot of people would add fresh garlic, but I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with powdered garlic personally. I think this stuff is delicious. So you want to add like a shit ton of that 
Don't be afraid to over garlic stuff because uh, garlic is delicious and it's healthy. It's like delicious and nutritious. All right. Um, uh, I do know one time I was making some chili and like we didn't even have no spices. But I found like a jar of those like chipotle peppers and mole sauce or whatever. Put that in there. Fucking delicious. you right. I mean, you didn't need no, no cumin. Which we do have cumin today, uh, but you didn't need no chili powder, which we do have that today. Um, also, uh, I like to put some uh, oregano in there. Yeah, it's going to be real good. And now they say you want to like, lots of recipes call for like making some kind of, uh, oh, I don't know, like a, like a, a soup base. And uh, making, with, you add water and you use your base or some stuff like that. I don't really believe in that because I like it to be nice and thick. And the thing is... You got your base, right? Just dump it right in there. Use a lot of it, too, because it counts as salt, kind of. Like, you can go easy on the salt and heavy on the base, and that's going to be delicious. This stuff don't want to come out too good. All right, here we go. Using it all up. And then, uh, the thing is, all your canned beans and stuff, which I like to use canned beans because it's like, I don't know, it's like, you cook, cook your own beans from scratch, and that'd be real fancy. And maybe you save a few cents if you have the fucking time to do it, which I don't because I got to get the fuck out of here before the people who live here come home. Uh, allegedly, I think they probably wouldn't mind because they invited me in totally. Uh, I should be here. It's legal. Anyway, uh, you got to open these up. You got to find something to do that with. I thought I had a thing. Oh, yeah. Here we go. A little spoon action. Uh, and I got these uh, nice big fingers here. They can't reach underneath these uh, tabs too good. But yeah. Pull that open. Anyway, uh, yeah, just use this, the, the juice that's with the beans. Here's some fucking fancy beans that I was having a hard time uh, finding some beans in this house. They got like chili sauce already added to them, so that's kind of fucking lame, but you know, like whatever. I don't really like to use, uh, you know, store bought stuff like that where they add the flavor already because it's like I want to control that, you know? They don't make no sense. But, uh, you do what you gotta do, and, uh, yeah, it's starting to get, uh, real hot in here, so, we gotta, gotta start adding all this liquid in here to keep it from, uh, burning too much. Oh, yeah, the they're good beans. I like to use, like, one can of, uh, black beans, one can of pinto beans. If you like one more than the other, you could do whatever the fuck you want. You could add, like... All pinto beans, or all black beans, or some fucking kidney beans, or some shit. Who knows? Whatever you want to do. Stir it up in there, real good. Another optional thing I think is like tomatoes. You can add some fucking tomatoes. Why not? Why wouldn't you add tomatoes to your delicious thing? It's gonna make it nice and stewy. They're fun to chew on. And you know, the only traditional thing I don't think I got in this one is uh, celery. A lot of people like celery in their chili. I do too, but they didn't have any around. So, uh, you know, we got what we got. Yeah, now it's nice and stewy. Not like the family guy stewy, but you know, like uh, a stew. Like what chili is. All right. And now, one of my secret ingredients is I really like to add corn to my chili because I think it's fucking delicious. Some people are like, corn sucks. And I'm like, fuck you. Corn's pretty great. It's not necessarily good for you, but it's delicious. And like, uh, a lot of people like to add something sweet to the chili because it kind of like makes the flavors blend and everything. And I agree with that. But that's also why I use corn because corn is sweet. And it fucking puts sugar in there and it makes everything blend really well. You don't got to put actual sugar in there or like honey or like, uh, I don't know. I know some people have made uh, chili with uh, pineapple before. That's actually intriguing. I might try that sometime, but not today. Today we got corn. And again, well, this don't got too much uh, liquid in it. <laughs> Stick it right in there, and you want this stuff to all stew and stuff, because uh, it uh, makes everything mix real good, and it's all about all the flavors blending, but still having a lot of good texture in there, so when you chomp down on it, 
It feels good in your mouth and it tastes good in your mouth. All right. Okay, I know everybody's probably real pleased with that sound it's making. That I know everybody loves it. So anyway, we're going to start uh, adding the uh, peppers here, I think. Uh, yeah, because, you know, you want them to cook. You don't want them to be too hard. You don't want them to be too mushy either, but they're going to get that way eventually anyway. So just stick that right in there. Oh, yeah, it's real good. All right. And uh, yeah, it makes it nice and colorful too. That's the other thing about the corn. You got your red. You got lots of different shades of red. The true red. All right. Uh, you got your green. That's me. And you got your, your true yellow. You know, he's in prison. Um, maybe you could find a way to put some blue and purple in there. I'm not sure exactly what you could use. Maybe some eggplant for purple and uh, for blue. I don't know, like some Kool-Aid or something? That sounds disgusting. I don't know. You tell me what you could do to make like a full mass intruder uh, chili. And uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, probably some whiskey for Officer Bradford or something like that. Always oh, just leave him out because he's a fucking cop. And anyway, it's time to add the spices. Now, one of the main things with, uh, you know, making chili, I think, like the main flavor that you want, if you got it. Like I said earlier, if you don't got it, you don't got it. You just got to do what you got to do. But uh, to me, cumin is like the number one thing to make any kind of Mexican. Well, not, not Mexican. Uh, that's not true. Uh, but for chili, uh, yeah, it is true that you want cumin in there. So I got some cumin. And uh, yeah, basically for this, I just use the whole damn thing. Put it all in there. It's going to be good. You ever had cumin before? Fucking delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's one of my favorite flavors. Favorite smell flavors. What do they call that? Scent? All right. Wish I had some scents. Wouldn't be here, that's for sure. Just kidding, I would. All right. Uh, that's some chili. Gonna put all that in there. This thing wasn't full, by the way. It was like a half jar. So uh, whatever that is, I don't even know. I usually measure too much stuff, but I'll, I'll try to figure out like about what I did and put it in some comments or something wherever this goes so you guys know and you can remake it and it's going to be delicious when you do it too. All right. Uh, so yeah, and then we got some oregano. I told you I like to use oregano. Maybe a little bit less of that, but still a good amount because we're making a big old stew here. And that looks weird. What the fuck is that? There's a goddamn twig in there. Look at it. Look at it. Focus on it. Focus. Can you focus? A twig in my oregano. That's weird. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like stems, I guess. You don't want to smoke that or read it. All right. Now, uh, pretty much everything is in there. Uh, you do want to probably add some salt and pepper to taste. Uh, I like to like let it stew first, and then uh, you know the pepper, black pepper, makes it a little more uh, sharp tasting, and of course salt does its thing too. So uh, let's get a stewing in here. Oh, that is really thick. What I was saying earlier, if it's too thick, you can always add water later, right? Okay, I might actually have to do that with this one. It's pretty, pretty thick. Look at this stuff. All right. Oh yeah, so it turned out real good. Um, I didn't actually, uh, I did actually add a little bit more black pepper, uh, just to pick up the uh, spice a little bit. And uh, last but not least, got a little dollop of sour cream. Delicious, it's gonna be wonderful. I love you guys. If you wanna see me cook uh, more stuff, I mean, uh, you can hit me up on the Patreon, uh, .com slash green. And, uh, you know, I'll, maybe I'll make a better video next time. And, uh, you know, hit me up in the comments or wherever you found this in the social medias and whatnot. You know, I'm on Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. Uh, until then, uh, check out the podcast, uh, the Intruder Green podcast, that is. And, uh, you know, eat some fucking chili. All right. Doing stupid fucking shit with Intruder Green. Yeah.